Okay, let me begin the class now. Now, uh, let me uh, just uh, refresh because it's after a small break, uh, we are starting the class. Now, actually, in the first class itself, we studied the nature nurture concept in detail and the in utero development of the baby as part of your syllabus. And actually, we took a uh, we took uh, an oath to that by studying nature and nurture, we justify the psychology definition also. That's a study on individual differences. So, in fact, we took an oath that no, no meaning in finding fault in others because all are nature and nurture. So, let us, let us all abide the rules, laws, and Freudian concept of sublimation, all those. Now, my dear friends, uh, no meaning in studying this. Uh, subject unless there is a practice. Finding no fault in others is one of the words we discussed. But it is at times we also find fault, we find uh, ridicule others. But let us try to reduce it. I am telling from my experience that if you keep away from finding fault in others, that alone would yield enough time in your life even to do a PG in every two years. From my experience, just you engage in your studies because, as I discussed in detail, the psychology studies, I told you just getting a certificate in psychology or studying the concepts in psychology will never make you a psychologist because many of the answers, even the suggestion that you have to give in career, maybe in management or in economics, or many of the philosophical in physics. Even in Malayalam literature, it is there in psychological solutions. So, psycho studying psychology alone won't help you. So, let everybody mute. Vidya Suresh, somebody has not muted. Let everybody mute, please. And uh, another important thing is that uh, we studied uh, how to work uh, these theories in uh, counseling, taking cases. So. The behavioral condition, etc., we worked. The memory techniques, because the language acquisition memory of the children is also taught in MBC 2, though it's a part of MBC 1 cognitive psychology. So we learned that through a testing practical, also I did as part of my academics because uh, when pedagogy, because. Uh, I want you to link whatever you study to the day-to-day uh, -to -day practical activity. So we learned that without knowing the meaning of a word, you cannot memorize it. All this we test. And uh, in the video that I have shared, various methods of reinforcement uh, in, the, for example, the SQ3R method. As usual, I hope you are able to listen. If there is any issues, please tell me because I will not be seeing your faces. I am concentrating on my slides. Now you can see, you my, can slide, see my slide. My slide. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can yes, see clear. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. As yeah, usual, okay. As, clear, okay. as usual, I am uh, beginning from your own text. This 1.2.1, maybe because the text uh, the portions were bifurcated earlier, now it is given as a single book and all that. But still, you find the particular subhead. The goal of development is to enable people to adapt to the environment in which they, they live. So, one statement. So, you should understand those who did the practical uh adaptive intelligence was one of the case studies practical you did so this is clearly written here the goal of development is to enable people to adapt to the environment is there now covid is there you have to adjust yes there is a problem with the job problem with the income problem with the freedom everything is there but if you do not adapt death may take you early so similarly there is a term, self-actualization is essential to achieve these changes. It plays an important role in mental health. People who make good personal and social adjustments must have opportunities to express their interests and desires in ways that give them satisfaction, 
but at the same time conform to accepted standards now you see these are all from your own text though i told you the text you are the you know, material is not vast contents the points are good enough it is your responsibility to expand it with the help of net or outside right now i told you even the words every word every concept you should know that is why i gave including a memory test though it's not a part of my teaching an npc too i want you to prepare i want you to prepare well for exam and study well so here this particular word c o n f o r m conform is there what is the meaning of conform can anybody say comply or obey with the rules sir okay somebody at least i'm sure Yeah, they, though even there are post graduates and all of your graduates, at least a few would think uh, confirm or uh, think it uh, as confirmed. The confirm is uh, something that uh, not alone the complaining uh, alone. Complaining is one of the thing. The most apt to the society, especially in psychology. For example, if you see a water line where uh, the the water Uh, inch pipeline is going there will be one elbow or a bend or something like that it exactly suits to that uh, dia that is why even with a uh, solvent uh, it may not uh, leak so that exactly is the conform so those who conform to accepted standards will not have stress so that's why in teaching or learning also you took up psychology out of interest but slowly the activity is not there that i have been teaching here for in you know itself for the last 12 years we see all these students come with lot of enthusiasm but now i taught i took classes for 3 days uh, consecutively last week i sent all the video everything but students do not have a doubt even that means they don't put efforts so lack of these opportunities will result in frustration that is the result reason for frustration that's why even if you don't get a good job you blame the government but the thing is you should understand 140 crore people so people are available in plenty you cannot uh, question this scarcity there should be scarcity then only i can get a position no in kochi uh, itself i taught of 5000 pg students there are many other universities so many thousands of students are coming out every year so there cannot be scarcity for psychologists only thing is your utility that is more important how can how you can be more usable more valuable to the society to your clients then you will get a position so the people are studying very slowly completing it in 5 year 6 year you can't help so lack of these opportunities will result in frustrations and generally negative attitudes towards people in life in general that's why we blame the society we blame so i am a graduate identity no you should be competitive a graduate is more than enough for getting an ias but there is competition so this is the world now based on this only why i took this particular captions because uh, the next theory i am going to teach is Theory Kirchhoff's theory, most one of the most beautiful theory, least criticized theory, acceptable to because I'll be teaching uh, Kolbe's theory. It may not be acceptable to all society, but to ensure, uh, including the limitation, everything uh, Erikson is telling. In Erikson's theory, it is very clear. It is acceptable to the universal population. Now let us study what it is. Like in Freudian theory. This is also in the zero point zero to one point five, one point five to three, three to six, six to twelve. I want you to buy heart this theory, like in Freud theory we work today itself, now itself. So according to Erikson, so in uh, Freudian theory it was uh, psychosexual development we discussed in detail, in depth. the oral anal phallic all this we discussed so likewise 
in a Freudian theory, it is 0 to 18 only, whereas in Erickson's theory, it is full throughout the life. So, 1.5, 0 to 1.5, according to him, is a trust versus mistrust. So, here the focus is social support. Now, here you have what you have to understand, something that is not available in your text, I am adding here. And in my video, it is more clear. So that will be useful to those who cannot attend this class because only 100 students can learn there. Now, in the case of trust versus mistrust, so you just imagine the condition. Immediately after the child is born, let us say, I'm just going back to the previous slide. The lack of opportunity leads to frustration. Okay, marriage, romantic life, everything is okay. When the child is born, lot of responsibility are to be shouldered by both the families, both the parent families, and husband and wife in particular. And in fact, it is the sole responsibility of the husband and wife, not even after to depend on the in-laws and the parents. You must be prepared in such a way before a child birth. Now, why Erickson is telling about trust versus mistrust is because as when I discussed about the nature nurture and uh, discussed the in utero life, I, I could convince you that the child in the mother's womb is learning about sound, listening, taste, movement, intellectual, your intelligence, smell, all this the child is learning from the mother's womb. Are you listening to me carefully? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you remember that, the child who comes out is not an ignorant child. Child knows many things. I could show you the video uh, on the slides and I sent you the video. You would have witnessed that the child is moving many times in the mother's womb. So, a lot of learning has taken place. Child knows many things before the childbirth. So, naturally, when it comes, you can connect the oral stage child, want to suck something, naturally, the mother's breast. It gets satisfied with the breast milk. So the mother's smell, mother's sound, everything is familiar to the child because the child was inside mother's womb. So I'm just discussing, it is not out of syllabus, the truth. But you know, in the in India, the labor laws, everything is there still. What is the dignity of labor? Everything we know. Unless or else you get a secured job, settled job, even Maternity leave, you may not get. So that, that being the truth, and even when the people are well employed also, or average employed, they may get a six months maternity leave. Earlier it was only three months, you know, and prior to that there was no such leave, maternity, if you limited leave facility. Now it is, you can take a six months leave plus six months loss of pay provided without affecting your career, provided you are working in a, an established organization. Otherwise, what will happen? And even when there is a maternity leave, suppose say remember a maternity leave of three months uh, prevailed some few years, three, three years, uh, sorry, three months prevailed a few years back. Mother may have to take leave in advance also. So they enter into maternity leave even one month prior to the delivery. Naturally, immediately after two months, the mother has to go to go for a job. Now it is six months. Not to only in established organizations. So now you just imagine the condition of the child. It's a contribution of the psychology internationally. Now, the world understands if you have, should have a very good offspring, mother's care is a must. 
But otherwise, what will happen? You see, in an unorganized sector, the mothers have to go for a job maybe even before three months, leaving the child with the in laws. So, it is actually by three months only the child they can witness the mother by eyes. Till that time, it will be vague. The mother smell, mother's uh, availability near to the child, everything, sound, everything child recognize. By vision, the child is clear only after three months, only by three months. Now what happens? The child is eager to, you just imagine that I am standing before you and taking the class. Just, just imagine the actions of a teacher. Just imagine the child is eager to see the mother's face because sound was there, spell was there, cuddling was there, uh, breast milk was given. But uh, when the child sees the mother in the morning, but the mother waves hands and uh, leaves for job. Child is frustrated. The child has to wait for hours and hours till evening for the mother to come. So this is the common case uh, in today's society when parent, mothers are employed. So my question is whether the child will develop a trust or mistrust now. You may answer. You not, may answer. Everybody, not everybody. Mistrust. 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 So the same similar way the child there are many, many theories. All theories uh, are not there for your studies, but you have to uh, look at the developmental theory books. Good books are available, available and free in that now. Uh, you can see the very many theories. So, by six months and all that, the, uh, the child uh, may be taking solid, semi solid foods and all that. Child may have better movement. So by one year and all that, prior to one year, by six months and all that, the child till six months to eight or nine months, or the child is able to stand half. Both the mother and the child is eager to have the presence frequently. It's called the symbiotic relation. I hope you remember the symbiotic way of living of uh, certain plants and all. So same way, the symbiote mutually benefited, both the mother and the child is mutually benefited with the warmth. But unfortunately, the mother has to part, has to go for job. So every time the child is having a mistrust. The moment that the child is able to walk by one year, see, that is why. Another word that I have used against the focus is called the, the individual. Because the moment the child is able to stand on its own foot, child finds that he is a separate individual, far away from mother. And you can just imagine the condition of uh, animals. Animals, you see, immediately after, immediately after the. Hello? Any doubt? Yes, sir. Do you have any doubts? No. Okay. So, individuation is that the moment the child is able to separate from mother's body and move. The child is very happy, overwhelmed. See, I got some freedom. It's a new horizon for the child. But uh, the parents always, we are like that. We are, we are very, very possessive. Yes, we have to cut it. But whenever the child wanted to move, let the child move and run. But you won't permit beyond the limit. There are many, many reasons. Child may fall down and damage. There could be some injury. And see that, suppose a child had some injury by one year, one quarter, fall, fell down and had to give stitch also or some bleeding was there. 
What will be the first expression of the mother? So many mothers are here in this group. What will be the first expression of the mother when the child uh, is wounded and bleeding? What will be the expression, the sound of the mother? Let some mother say, what will be your expression? Guilt, sir, guilt. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be guilty. Guilty, then what will be the sound coming out of you? No. Uh, stop. Shock. Are you? No. I am supposed to wound this like that. The mother may also cry. The child is also crying because of pain. The mother is also crying, especially when, I'm not joking, um, if the mother is... Uh, with the parents-in-law, with the husband's house, she may also get some blame that the, child, the mother didn't take care of the child. And the mother mm -hmm. is much on it now, net, whatsapp, everything, the picture also will be sent to the husband. So, a lot of frustrations for the mother. Am I right or not? Right, sir. Yes. So, what, what is the fault of the child here? The children are born here only to play, especially in this age of the six year and all that. Child is even after twelve years, child is expected to play. To, to turn and tune the child is your duty. Now you are building a granite construction, sharp edges. And the child may bleed on falling inside the house also because that much problems are there in the house. A lot of sharp edges are there. The child didn't want you to take uh, 50 lakh bagalon and build such houses. And even the outside, the house also there will be stones, granite stones paved beautifully. But the child, the child will run because the child won't run. So all this, every time, every day, we are bringing mistrust to the child, not trust. Hope you understood. So this is what uh, Erickson is saying. The children should be given maximum freedom to grow. Now you see, 1.5 to 3, the next stage according to him, Autonomy was all too extreme. It was a trust versus mistrust. Autonomy versus self-doubt. Establishing independence. You would notice, or you would remember, that the child of 1.5 wish to scribe something. If the mother is writing something, child also want to write something. For the child, it is great creation. Something you would have seen the WhatsApp, the passport of the father. When he opened at the airport, found that the child has cried, uh, drawn many pictures. It's not the fault of the child, it is the duty of the parent to take it away and keep it safe. So, for the child, when the, my father is writing something, maybe that uh, the mother is scribing, writing something with provision names for purchase. Child may write uh, with whatever knowledge the child has how to draw or something we need to just describe. So it's all the great creations of the child, the child should not be blamed for that. The child at this age of three, two, three, and all that will be always playing with water, bottles, spoons. The child may uh, Scribe and draw on the walls. What will be the re normal response of the parents, especially when they have built the beautiful houses, marbled uh, or the granite uh, tiled uh, floors, and the well painted walls? The child wanted to do whatever the child wants to do. How do you at that time usually? All the parents encourage all this? No, sir. No, no. This is the problem. Here, likewise, I told you 50 lakh, one crore worth of house. The child never expected. Child is happy with a cow dug base house, a hut. No issues for the child. 
Child doesn't know the value of us. Likewise, child didn't ask you to paint the wall. The child may want to draw something. Every time you disgrace a child. Disgrace. Severely disgrace. Sometimes child is punished. You told you to pay into the house spending many lakhs of rupees. So here all, it's so all very, very important. You know, that's why the learning theory, that is uh, two learning, one learning theory I taught, another one more I'll be teaching by end of this class, how to apply this learning theory. So this is, the child uh, is punished and unlearned. That is not fair. That is a scenario approach. That is applicable, that is required, not to the child. The child should be at the time. And child can be given directions by earmark in certain portion of the wall, a particular room, adjacent to a certain room, or some area that the child should be allowed to draw and appreciate. And even when visitors and friends are around, these are the creations of my child. Child won't have any problem. Child will be really happy. So this way, Every time, try to build the positive. Sometimes a little negative will be there, but the positive should always hold. So now comes the three to six, uh, called the initiative versus guilt. Developing self-care skills. In fact, a four-year child can do 400 things. But unfortunately, you won't allow the child to do it. For example, a child of four years need not be asked to serve food to a visitor, to a guest. Because a child may break the utensils and the liquids and other food items may fall down. But after the child is, uh, sorry, after the guests are going, at least the non-fragile items, utensils. If you ask the child to deposit in the kitchen sink, the child will only be happy to do it. But you won't permit. And you will study in the second, second year. Even antisocial personality disorder, shyness, or even bipolar 2. All these things, uh, schizoid personality, so you say many things, you know, not to say schizophrenia and all that. Certain kinds of uh, traits the child will be developing because of the negative attitudes of the parents. Child, child will be taking initiative, but you are discouraging the child. Best example I can tell you, a child of three years will be going to, usually going to, but for the COVID, they're usually going for placement. Okay, fine. You help the child to wear the socks, nothing wrong. But the mothers especially are more possessive to children, especially the boy children. They want to see that they help the child for every activity. Even in first step, just LKG, UKG, two years is more than enough for the child to learn how to dress well, how to wear socks, shoes, everything. Child can do. Little support is required whenever it is necessary. Otherwise, the child will do by himself or herself. But you are particular, even a third standard, fourth standard child uh, should seek your help. This is the problem with our culture. So, whenever the child is taking initiative or a new books are received, child may want to cover with the new sheets. Child is happy, overwhelmed to do it. I told you, child can do for a things in four years. But you said you the child will damage the book. Yes, let the child damage the book. Let the child damage some recovering sheets and replenish it. But the wounds or the experience the child is receiving when taking the initiative is blatantly ridiculed by the parents. What happens is that child is receiving guilt. See by the year three year six year Child is getting mistrust, self-doubt, guilt. So developing self-care skills uh, is important. The child himself can do many, many, many things. But unfortunately, even with a plus two child student, many parents are sitting for his academics. 
other phallic period is not lost because unnecessary sexual feeling is not developed in a child 6 to 12 is child will be like a sanyasi child uh, can be turned and told in any way if the child is losing that previous period parents alone are responsible and the child is very energetic 6 to 12 we period they can master any culturally and academically relevant skill and we discussed when the teachers are here in this class if they can imagine 6 to 12 means one first standard to 6 to 10 all the basics will be covered by 6 to 10 all social skills, skills everything is covered in the syllabus But unfortunately, if the child is lost, the sixth child, then because it was lost because of the phallic period and all that, and thus the child is pampered mm-hmm. and spoiled. All this concept is studied exteriorly, but in this case, we are trying to spoil the child by not building positives in the child. So, if the child is losing sixth child, means masterly and academically, culturally. Mastery of cultural academic relevant skill will be lost. So what will happen is that when the, the child is losing this thing, the problem is that 12 to 18 or 13 to 19, I told you the teenage. Teenage, as you said, as you know, it's a problematic period because the child is losing 6 to 12. I asked you, if the child is losing 6 to 12, that is... Mastery of culturally academic, how to behave, the apt behavior, optimum behavior required for the situation. The child is losing in uh, six to twelve. Academics is lost. The child is coming to the hormonal period, thirteen to nineteen. So what happens? Thirteen to nineteen, hormone, sexual feeling will be there. The boy become a man. Boy is traveling towards. Growth the period and becoming a man, girls, women. So a lot of changes physically, psychologically, it happens. So I asked you the question on that day. Those who lost academics, cultural skills, where should they go? Because now they cannot continue their studies comfortably in a thirteen to nineteen period. And there will be such students, opposite six students in the school class. That they are also frustrated. They are punished by the teachers in the school. 
parents and also say be a bad girl, bad boy. There are such students in the class, separated family, because Indian culture you have to consider. Why Indian culture you have to consider? Because you can imagine both village and city. Maybe in uh, metro cities, in a class, there could be few students with a separated family parents. If comments are there, it won't affect them because many people are there, even half of the people are there. If, even if so, not separated, separated likely. But in a village, you just imagine, suppose a child, a son, his uh, father, parents, either of the parents, left the family. That will work in the class and school. The child will have all the negatives. I'm just adding one thing that is, what I'm trying to tell you is that 6 to 12 is a beautiful period because the latency period, child is comfortably turned to any area of academic culture. But if that is closed, the child will be having the teenage or the adolescence. At that time, the child is supposed to think well about it. Am I? Or what are my traits? Traits I discussed one day. Everybody has got any problem in academics? Just to come to my WhatsApp, ask for a Google Meet, I can help anyone. So the child, yes, even our, you think about our period, or even youngsters, uh, maybe 21 year student also called me one day. Even that student would not have thought in 12 year to 18 year period, what career they should take up, how to achieve, what are my traits. So what am I, what are my traits? Where should I reach? What, what is my, where, 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 where is my last end, edge I want to reach by 15 years, sorry, 20, 25 years? What employment I should take up? What career I should have? All this, they should take a decision before 20 years at least. But unfortunately, in our country again, we will not get the desired course mostly. So you'll be studying something, some people will be going for some degree. After degree they find that they have not reached anywhere. And then learning problems. Yes. So, because some things can be discussed only in the micro self, because even the labor minister cannot find solution to the unemployment because 140 crore people. And um, more than half of the population is under poverty line. So all these limitations are there. So individually, by cross sense, if a person is there, because all these 100 students or the 700 students of your batch can be considered uh, as micro sense. So in the micro sense, one should know what are his traits, where he stands when compared to his wish to where he should reach. During this period, I discussed in the stages. Are you clear or you have any doubts? Or I'll be unproceeding. Clear, sir. Okay. Just take Excuse a... Excuse me, take sir. A, sir okay. Okay. Can you uh, tell me about autonomy? 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 Yeah. Yes, what, what you want? What you want to know? Autonomy, what's 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 autonomy, not exactly breaking, even one year is okay. The child is started walking, talking a lot, a lot of peer group, relatives. The child wanted to do many, many things. It's a continuation of three to six initiative versus guilt is also a continuation. Don't just bifurcate this particular period it should happen. Can be some escalation to this side or that side. Here in any case, even to one to six year and all that, the child will always want to do something. But parents are giving self-doubt to the child because the activities of the children are not entertained. Not all activity. But when the child wanted to write something, do himself things, or child wanted to eat by himself, why can't you train that at every time you will give the food? Maybe it's love and affection is well and good. But whatever thing, that's so why you see the animals, how they live. They want to be independent. 
they the parents of that animal kids cubs they want to see that the children are their children are independent but we are not we are always want we want to possess them they are, when they are playing you don't tell us let them do whatever they want then see when you study the uh, tomorrow i'll be covering psh uh, theory how the cognitive work will take place even at uh, one year even at two year that you study we clubbing all this that is freudian theory Freudian theory and psh theory you will be clear so the whatever the growth the three year child is a grown up child in fact three year child but you won't allow to so let the child establish independence let the a three year child can definitely take bath by himself a two year child can definitely take bath by himself give some training let him do by himself but the parents won't allow that's what i meant sarava idinathu ഇന്നേറ്റൊരു കാര്യം വരുന്നില്ലേ എന്താണ് അതായത് നമ്മുടെ മൃഗങ്ങളെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം അവർക്ക് ദേ ആർ ഇന്നേറ്റ് അല്ലേ നമ്മൾ ഇന്നേറ്റ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ ഇന്നേറ്റ് അല്ലാതെ മാറ്റിയതാണ് നമ്മളെ ഇവിടെ 30 വയസ്സുള്ള ഞാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം തന്നെ പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു 30 വയസ്സുള്ള ഒരു മകൻ എല്ലാ കാര്യത്തിനും അച്ഛനോട് അമ്മയോട് പെർമിഷൻ ചോദിക്കാണെങ്കിൽ ചോദിക്ക അങ്ങനെ ഒരു വാക്ക് ഞാൻ ഉപയോഗിക്കാണ് അതിന്റെ ഇന്റൻസിറ്റി മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ ഞാൻ മൂത്രവിഷയോട്ടെ അച്ഛൻ മുപ്പത് വയസ്സുള്ള മകൻ ചോദിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ പോലും പേരൻസ് സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഒരു കൾച്ചറാണ് നമ്മുടെ പത്ത് പതിനഞ്ച് വയസ്സാവുമ്പോഴേക്ക് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡ് ആയി സ്വന്തം കാലിൽ നിന്ന പല കരിയർ ചെയ്യുകയും മേബി ചിലപ്പോൾ പൈസ ഒന്നും കിട്ടില്ല ഇന്ത്യൻ കണ്ടീഷനിലെ യൂറോപ്യൻ കൺട്രീഷനിലൊക്കെ ഞാൻ വെറുതെ യൂറോപ്യനെ ഒന്നും സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യല്ല അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വെസ്റ്റേൺ കൺട്രീ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യല്ല അവിടെയൊക്കെ പതിനാല് പതിനഞ്ച് വയസ്സാവുമ്പോൾ കുട്ടികൾ സ്വയം സ്വന്തം കാലിൽ നിന്ന് ജോലിക്കാൻ പോകും ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾക്ക് ഇതൊക്കെ അന്യമാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് അറിയില്ല എന്തൊക്കെ തരം ജോലിയാണ് ഉള്ളതെന്ന് പോലും അറിയില്ല സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി പ്രോബ്ലംസ് സോ ഈ തിയറി വളരെ ഇഫക്റ്റീവ് ആണ് എത്ര രണ്ട് വയസ്സുള്ള കുട്ടിക്ക് സ്വന്തമായി ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയുമെങ്കിൽ അവനെ ട്രെയിൻ ചെയ്ത് അവൻ ചെയ്യും അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് പല പിന്നെ ചോദിച്ചില്ല ഇന്നേറ്റ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ പല ട്രൈബിലും ഒക്കെ ഉള്ള കുട്ടികൾ വളരെ അവർക്ക് അക്കാഡമിക്കിലൊക്കെ താഴെ ആയിരിക്കും പക്ഷെ പല ക്രിയേറ്റിവിറ്റി സ്വന്തമായിട്ട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാനുള്ള അവരുടെ കഴിവ് ഭയമില്ലായ്മ ണത് അവരെ അങ്ങനെ സപ്പോർട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ ആളില്ലാത്തോണ്ട് യു കൻ തിങ്ക് യുർ ഓൺ പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് ടൈം ഡിഡ് യു ഹാവ് എനി ഐഡിയ അബൌട്ട് കരിയർ വെരി ഫ്യൂ വെരി ഫ്യൂ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വാണ്ട് ടു ടേക്ക് അപ്പ് സ്റ്റഡി ഇൻ എ പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ തിങ് ദ കംസ് അപ്പ് ഓൾസ് സോ this is the problem identity versus role confusion so it be, it is the problem throughout the life not only in 12 to 18 it continues so i'm slowly taking this class to make you understand this particular period of 12 to 18 and how to overcome this is also very very important because we take up a uh, studies not thinking about our career nobody would have thought in our class also very few would have thought i have to become a teacher or so and he will be studying something because again limitations are there i told you microsense only it is possible 140 crore people half of the people under under poverty line it will not work but in microsense it works if a student takes up a decision consider his traits what type of work he want to do i'll tell you very simple example identity versus role confusion continues to grow because now whatever be the job that we get because of the unemployment and insecurity especially in covid times you know the most secure people are uh, industrial employees that to the government and private government is more safe and uh, the, to get a government job like this it is like a, like an is so they go to some government offices because after all to work because 10 lakh to 20 lakh people in the writing for 10000 posts and when they get a job i know many people at the age of 40 45 see i'm fed up with the work some somehow i want to retire and get the pension many people in public sector are they taking voluntary retirement why because fed up with the work and that is the difference between job and career can anybody tell what is the difference between job and career 
Job means only earn earning. Yes. And career? Career. Career. Uh, we just satisfied with our passion. Uh, That's what. That's what. Where should I reach? That's why I said the focus should be where should I reach. How many of us thought, including me, because I also got a government job. I still continue with it. You know, I'm happy with my work. But maybe luck also helped me. But I'm what I'm trying to tell you that most of the people, it's a, it's a material, logical to compare the life of anybody with the other. Psychology is never expected. It's not telling. You know, if there are seven hundred students in there. How many would have thought the where should I reach? Very few. So simply taking up some graduation, not getting the job, what they learned. Even you know, many engineers and all that trying to get a job in bank because engineers they were having better logical sensing, uh, better better mathematical skills, so they get the job easily than even a big one. So this is the thing is that they want to get a job. So after some time, fed them with this. That's why I'm just quoting the statement of Mohanlal. He was telling one day, "My film may be a failure or a success, but whatever be the thing, my character, the character, the role in my film, I'm sincere. Ah, uh, it is a meditation to me. For a meditation, I reckon I'm jolly. Suddenly, just because I like this uh, career, teaching this much, I'm spending this much time with you, preparing my own slides." The video I am sending to you always available to clear any doubts. You can come to us. The thing is that if the, you are, unless there is you choose a career, what will happen? Even getting a government job is very 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 tough. Like an IS. But after getting the job, what happens is that after few years, decades, they are frustrated. Somehow they wanted to discontinue the job, but for the pension, uh, the expected the rewards, wanted rewards. Many more continue the job. Are you clear about this particular identity versus what confusion? It's a very very important thing. Important thing. Excuse me, sir. Is a career is related to integrity? Yes. Yes. Many integrity. things. Integrity. Okay. Because many so, things. Many things. Uh, to put in a uh, simple language, first thing I'll tell you in Malayalam. The more you do, the more passion you should have. You are never tired with that career. So you do one good thing, you know. So after after, I know, Pandare is jolly. Keep it all up, boy. So I'm cursing my job and going every day. So see the difference. So the identity versus role confusion is one of the problems which. Kill see you throughout the life, and how to get out of this is another thing that I'm coming to that. And the question is whether it continues even after the death. It's a very, very, very interesting, joking, well-researched thing. Even after a retirement, whether there is identity, very simple. Nowadays, people are retiring. At the fifty-five, fifty-six years or fifty-eight years, usually people are very, very healthy. The private company definitely is fifty-five only. Now, you just imagine your own relatives or neighbors or the people known to you after retirement from good job also, what they are usually doing. Can you tell me? Most of them are relaxing. Only ten percent. Most of them are relaxing. Ah, ah. But, but will be so that you have to think it in such a way whether the identity crisis continue till death, because you are doing a job which you are not in, having any interest. Maybe government servants and all that they are getting better rewards, but many people even don't get reward because you know, there is no scarcity. And utility is almost the same. I'm not blaming. We are. We are trying to the truth of uh, third world countries like India. This whole theory is written from Europe and the Western countries. No. So the, what happens is that when it is applied to India, the identity crisis. How can we overcome? At least in the micro sense. Macro sense is not possible. So here, 
relaxing i agree maybe relax for one or two three years and if they try to go for some job they may be getting some tenth of it they were getting one lakh rupees now they are getting only ten thousand so everybody will be discouraged even when the ch uh, children are married and grandchildren are born the job is entrusted to the parents am i right or not yes sir yes. for time being they are also happy the children again the, the period the period that we were discussing the 1.5 to 3 3 to 6 that period they will reach very soon so my dear friends you can witness in your own houses many many healthy people after retirement supported the family everything i am not saying that they should not support the family after retirement but when the grandchildren also grown to some level many people have become a waste they are now worried and that too without an income and a pension the real problem for them so identity versus world confusion is a big problem unless always you take a career take up a career hope you are clear the importance of 2018 and how to overcome this also we will discuss in the next uh, so my dear friends uh, how to so resolve this problem is also very very important and 18 to 45 year is that much importance are you listening yes sir yes sir it is called the young adulthood that is intimacy versus isolation as you know 18 to 45 is teenage is just getting over especially in the uh, european and western countries people have already taken up some part time career relation because in uh, freudian theory we discussed heterosexual interest in 12 to 18 so already dating everything is there so it is we cannot uh, though we study all this we can't uh, permit all this in our culture as i told you that was population poverty we cannot hold the many orphanages that is the simple thing so our we have got limitations so but still the intimacy versus isolation especially in the case of uh, 20 right eight, after 18 females get married many in many parts of india exactly at eight of 18 years itself the marriage is taking place maybe in kerala and all that after 20 after graduation and still people want to wait for a job they get married only those who are stubborn very particular that the parents and the students they will marry only after job very good so it's all up to your choice but you have to study a theory so 18 to 45 most of the people will be marrying you so they will be having children also here is the importance of this intimacy versus asexual because intimate physical relation emotional relation in loss birth of children association with the their peers school not to many lot of intimate relations are built during this period so it's a very very important period actually the youngsters in this class must be very happy to learn this at this age because even we learned after getting a job and all because uh, you have to understand this a uh, beautiful nurturing of relation with children the bondage between the husband and wife the clashes are there difference of opinion there but intimacy is also to be built especially with the children such a beautiful life otherwise they will have isolation how to explain this i am just turning my slide to another page with the more explanations 18 to 45 establishing meaningful relationship as i said the uh, 18 to 45 in adulthood intimacy versus isolation here establishing of 
meaningful relation is the focus. The focus is the divisive resolution. The explanation to this is physical, emotional, intellectual, plus, plus, plus. That is why when people get married, they get married after 18 years only in any case. So when they marry, it's a physical relation alone that won't stand for long. So the emotional relation, intellectual relation, this way, the, the partner should also have such talent and interest when of similar similarity with the taking of the career, job, work, because without work, nobody can survive. That is the problem with our society. We, we want to work also. So, well, as said in Bible, you have to have your bread out of the set of your forehead. One has to work. So the physical, emotional, intellectual, whatever relation is established during this period. Now the importance I have written for you to understand it better way. This period of 18 to 45 is very vital. I can call it as a period of reliving. This is because any previous period lost can also be partially or completely brought back through better awareness of the resources. But 18 to 45 lost, a physically meaningful, irreparably would result in achieving further relations also in poor point. I will explain to you. Then it will be really clear. You can share your views also. Because you just imagine what I told you, what I told you is. 12 to 18 if that is lost because you forgot to take a correct career. Correct, exact career you may not get because the Indian conditions are the dignity of labor, the payment, everything is an issue, labor exploitation is there. But do you see what the solution, what best solution you can do? For example, if a person uh, after, till 18 he didn't take a decision, even at 25 years he could not get a good career. At 25 or 30, if a person is asking, let me take up uh, another profession, he will be a failure because when he will marry and will have children. So this is the importance, this is vital. So let them, let him have family because 18 to 45 is Establishing meaningful relationship. If you still study, even at 40, not marry, things won't work. But now you see, 18 to 45 is a period of reliving because of his further schools research to written many books. So the first say a reliving is possible. I can prove you this. Though it is an online class. Just imagine I'm standing in front of you. After having studied all this, let us focus based on a female. By the age of 45 years, even a general soul, more focus let us give to a female for studying it better. In the hormonal case also, a female's uh, age is very important. By 45, usually the parents will have two children. What will be the age of the second child? At, what will be the average age of the second child at 45 years of a female? Can you tell me? 13. 13. Or 12. So here is the importance. What is done 6 to 12? Mastery of culturally and academically relevant skills. Now, what is my puzzle? What is my question? What, is, what was our question? Suppose the 12 to 18 is lost, some 25 to 30 years is reached. Should I take up a new career? You can take up a career, but the family is also important. Parallelly, let him study something, but not usually after having children, and especially two children, financial issues, lot of other issues, uh, transfer. I not be able to concentrate in my in the, uh, aspired career. So let the parent concentrate in, that's why really we, let the parent concentrate in rearing these children. You now you see, 
Yes, sir. Any doubts? Yes. Okay, let me proceed then. So, 40, so if you really enjoyed with awareness, with a meaningful relation, if you lift, you will, a person will be usually contented. Nirvati, Niravadu. Why you have to study all this? Any of the person, including you, are in any of these age brackets. So 18 to 45, intimacy versus isolation, if you are getting very good intimacy, very good physical relation, very good emotional relation, very good intellectual relation, plus plus, that means you will be content. So such people, 45 to 65, generativity versus stagnation, such people will have generativity. Because when they look back, they really enjoy the life. So in the middle adulthood, they will be happy to see that the people are living happy. That's a finding of it. We can witness this in our society also. Those parents who had the troubled relation, the mother and father did not enjoy the physical relation, intellectual, emotional relation. Even then their, their children marry and live, they may be having endless they may be jealous, even the parents may be jealous, because they didn't enjoy well. So this is the problem with Indian culture also. We say all this ashramar and subscribe, everything is working. But those who lost in the age of 45, good intimate relationship, they'll be cursing. So they will be envious, jealous, jealousy of those people who are living happy. Even then, that's why all this possessiveness, why should there be such processes? After a marriage of the children, let them live happily. Why do you, why the parents unnecessarily interfere into the life of the others, their children, their own children? Let them live. So the, all this depends on how the couples, the married people, father and mother, parents, got 18 to 45. So that is getting, they will make the children free, let them live. So generative. Plus, one more thing is that they will have a, an idea, they will have a vision towards contribution, contributing to the society, generating it. Because they will have, because they enjoy the life, they can now start contributing to society or they will be stagnated, frustrated. 65 plus is the late adulthood, integrity versus despair. Integrity here you have to understand when they try to gather their life, various stages of schooling, education, family, rearing of the children, their achievement. So the parents will feel a generativity and when considering all this, when they integrate, they are really happy. Otherwise, Old age will be a desperate thing, but you can really witness even in India. Those who didn't do well uh, in their uh, childhood, in their education, in their career, in their family life, they will have despair. Now again, one more correction is required in this theory because when this theory was written, it was in 100 years back. So what happened at that time, the life expectancy of the people were 65 or 70. Now the international life expectancy, especially in developed nations, it is 90. You would have learned that this, uh, during COVID period in America, uh, death rate was very high because old aged people were there very high suffering from lung uh, diseases, lung replacement and all that, uh, meaning people, lung, replaced lung. So that is why. In India, it is around 80, especially in Kerala, it is around 80. So this theory has got a relevance because it is, in the further schools added more stages, you may just note down, may not have to write for exam, but you have to understand the importance of 65 plus because all the, the, the developed nations, they are short of manpower. 
so they are motivating the old age people you would have learned had that many countries many nations healthy nations are passing the laws that people should work till 70 years even at government job also it is available to them even at uh, 70 years so based on this they have made a further correction to not to this theory generally what they did is 65 to 75 old 65 to younger old sorry 65 to 75 younger old 75 to 85 old 85 plus oldest old because they expect the people to work at least till 70, 75 years. Short of people, people are going to America, Australia and all that, people are going from here. So they want their people to work. And is there any relevance for that in India? Yes, it is in India also, it has got relevance. Now you just think, Usually at what age a people, a person will be getting a comfortable job? At what age a person will be getting a job? Comfortable job? Comfortable job? Comfortable job? Comfortable job? 30. Okay. Now at what time a person is retiring? Okay. Now 30, around 30, around 60. So you just consider uh, 40, 50, 60. Some 25 to 30 years only a person is working and earning for the society. Am I right? Yes. So a person is. Uh, 80 year old person 50 year that person is not doing anything not contributing much to the society only eating and swimming 30 year only a person is working how can a society develop out of 80 years only 30 year a person is working 50 year a person is not working no country can develop you can say unemployment all these things that is not the answer. Or to, to solve the unemployment, some other uh, action to be taken by the government. So, working, a person should work till the last breath, as far as possible. So, here also this theory is stand good. Now, at the age of 55, 58, people are very healthy. They can take up any job or sitting idle, relaxing. How many? How how long they should relax? At least five hours, six hour job still they can do, even at 60, 65. So it's a beautiful theory. I believe you enjoyed this theory. Of course, do you think that by studying this, uh, you can improve your life? You can improve uh, your client's life. What do you think? If you have got any doubt, you can ask me. How do you appreciate this theory? Yeah, it's good, but in India is uh, totally different. Huh? In 18 to 45. Yes. yes. People are not able to sit. Not able to sit. Yeah. But the thing is that the thing is that the people are not able to think. So that is the problem. <laughs> because you have to plan. That is what I am telling. So as a uh, Clinician, you don't have to simply copy the theory, but the problem is that uh, unless or else you make your children independent, that is the most important part of this theory. Yeah, sure, sir. Because with my self experience, I was married at 19 years. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so I was comparing everything with my life. Okay, okay. okay. Now the thing, now is, the that, thing is that, see, so you just go through so this. Go through uh, this uh, particular thing 65 plus I have written when Erickson made this theory all this I discussed 65 75 I'll be sending this uh, video also it will be covering try to improve your life and what is what I'm asking I'm not asking you to just uh, swallow this theory take the good points of this while rearing your children what you can do 
if you lost your career what you can do think about it and whatever you lost your uh, young adulthood you can do it in uh, late adulthood no problem you know 16 yes, years sure, sir we can change this theory also yes yes you yes, can yes. you can know the yeah, thing no, is even at yes, even at just i'm telling you I'm my telling dear friend you, my dear okay, friend. okay. Let, okay. let me come back to this theory once again say look what we said reliving is possible at the 18 to 45 okay i'm i'm telling seriously because i'm i'm doing this work in my clinic for many people because when the children are brought with the learning issues their parents might not have settled anywhere so i'm just asking a 45 year old person he is uh, working uh, he is working as a carpenter or a mason or a, i mean some technical work iti is getting better income even uh, much more than a teacher of private school because a private school uh, some 10000 rupees is paid for post graduate ba teachers but the, the other person may be getting 30000 rupees a month or more than that so when such people are brought if i am asking them what is your qualification and plus 2 okay with because i have done it with the plus 2 a person can take up psychology study in igno for ba cuz i was a tutor for ba also ba psychology cuz it was uh, it is not now taken uh, with a real center with, a, with the other agencies so that we don't go there so the thing is i am just asking you a person with a plus 2 or if a person doesn't have plus 2 there are nios uh, national institute of open schooling within another one year he can also qualify uh, plus 2 he can join with uh, igno with a two year he can get uh, because today also i am not it's not fair that i tell the name today i got a whatsapp message sir as uh, directed by you i took up uh, my ba studies now i completed my ma and working as a psychologist part time so this is possible just imagine just after plus 2 we one can get into indira gandhi university for ba psychology any plus 2 is enough and like the same ma course that he can join so a 45 year old person can get a pg by 40 uh, 50 51 years or at least by the time 58 years he retire if he become a post graduate many students i motivated many people many students join and they got it so we just think suppose they didn't do anything they just continued retired doing nothing they can uh, do now with psychology sociology i'm not saying that everybody should take up psychology they can take up any studies they can become a very good house tuition teacher by studying english or those who are very some people know plus 2 qualification or 10th standard they may be very good in mathematics they can take up mathematics do you know but for the covid there are distance education for bsc mathematics bsc chemistry msc chemistry with an amelia university and many universities it is possible they can very well do a house tuition center at the age of 60 or 70 even can be good uh, income receivers hope now you are clear see by studying this theory it you modify but instead of ridiculing the theory you can make it better that's what i meant how do you make clear about the importance of this particular theory yes, sir. okay yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. instead of yes, finding faults and shortfalls you can try to improve it now colbeck's theory of moral development this uh, again i am not discouraging you by saying that you study freudian theory erickson's theory and uh, tomorrow i'll be taking the piaget's theory this theory is also very important only thing is that when you go through this theory many of the contentions you may not agree but the theory is thought about it considering the period of his growth his period so colberg is talking one of the limitations is is a stage theory what he is telling is that if one stage is lost the next stage one can catch but if two stages are lost to the third stage you come on cannot but in the case of erickson's theory i could explain to you that even at the which stay first stage second stage third stage fourth stage even at the fifth stage 
even at the fifth stage that is for 18 to 45 a person can rebuild uh, start reliving so in the case of kolberg uh, is a is a theory on moral development so he is not talking much about the career and all that how a person is to be nurtured this theory better we can connect, connect with the freudian stages of development because as freud said the id the ego superego the id uh, how, what about we discussed the id and the superego when it is troubled at either side when i id is those who didn't attend the class or listened to the video i can't help but you should understand um, uh, the id is so strong or superego is so strong ego get troubled so this moral development theory has got much value if a good better moral development as applicable to society as defined in sublimation by freud it has got that much relevance so moral development is a gradual development of an individual's concept of right or wrong conscious religious values social attitudes and certain behavior so his theory it's a stage theory in other words uh, everyone goes through the stage uh, sequentially without skipping any stage one ha- one is covering through this or one is if he is not established he is telling that uh, if you don't uh, achieve uh, the second one third one is not possible so let us learn this however movement through these stages are not natural that is people don't automatically move from one so automatic don't automatically move from one stage to next stage as they mature in stage development movement occurs when a person notices inadequacies in or her present way of copying with a given moral dilemma because here the thing is that when you study psychology not full study is not possible at least by the time you cover your uh, syllabus you will come to know that the moral dilemma won't be there in the people that is the problem that is the main criticism in this if you have a moral dilemma you try to uh, try to overcome this correct it but the dilemma itself is not felt when there is conduct disorder when there is no good model is there and starvation is there that one case study will come I'll, then it will be clear so according to stage theory people can't understand moral reasoning more than one stage and their own for example a person stage one can understand stage two reasoning but nothing beyond that that's also relevant but see this theory is written when this media such education now you see a very good video very good moral uh, explanation also influences such things were not there at that time so he you consider the theory in that way and here also try to take out the best from this theory so the stage one obedience and punishment especially common in young children but adults are capable of expressing this type of reasoning at this stage children see rules as fixed and absolute especially there are, that is also true uh, there are exceptions when you study the psycho the piaget theory will come to know even at 7 uh, year also um, some certain children are very vigilant uh, capable of questioning the order uh, nowadays uh, children are also more intelligent but you see usually from his observation is he has zero to 90 years of his rules in order to avoid punishment determines a sense of right and wrong by what is punished and what is not punished this is true in the case of common living no doubt about it so you please read right, let me take some water so he is responsive to rules that will affect his physical well being so, but what do you know there will be criticism for this also there are children who are not ready to obey adhd may be there their uh, troubled parent relation is there the uh, troubled relation with school lot of things are there that's why lot of punishments are there in at nine to year also with the punishment also they are not worried about it so there are criticisms but let us try, take the positive sides of this and for examination we are supposed to write all this stage 2 naively egotistical egotistical 
at this stage of moral development children account for individual points of view and judge actions based on how they serve individual needs reciprocity is possible but only if serves one's own interest is right in stage 2 also sir nani yes stage 2 also takes place what he says that reciproc reciprocity means something that is given back if i am getting something i will give good thing that's also his observation that is true if a person is liked he will provide dislike he won't provide that's why he is motivated by vengeance or an eye for an eye philosophy hi this would i'm telling this theory has got much role in the case of id a good teacher good society good parents can model and teach sacrifice also in a child so it's all these theories are relevant you don't have to criticize and ridicule he is self absorbed while assuming that he or she is generous believes in equal sharing and what everyone gets the same regardless of need believes that the end justifies the means will do a favor only to get a favor that's what this reciprocity that you can remember by this navely egotistical stage 2 means reciprocity so all every all these points are based on reciprocity expect to be rewarded for every non selfish because children are motivated with appreciation that's what is meant says three good boy good girl orientation maybe in teenage they wanted to but not everyone now the media all this influence them and they may also become stubborn uh, troubled children a teenager interference all this they happens in 10 to 15 so instead of criticizing let us take some good things in this theory this stage of moral development is focused on living up to social expectations and goals there is an emphasis on conformity being nice and consideration of how choices influence us that's why by 14 15 years even condom and machines are given in uh, european countries western countries and you you have to see that uh, they there the freudian theory plays that is uh, 12 to 18 is heterosexual but we can't accept it but at the same time uh, being nice why our people are not being nice because they are not allowed to expose their feelings are not considered so that is why when psychologists that's why i am telling when children are brought with uh, some immoral activity or love affair there is nothing wrong you try to channelize their energy towards their studies that is solution uh, otherwise you will also be punishing uh, the children uh, by advising them in front of the parents parents already punished them the society punished them teachers punished them and this is an asylum for they are an asylum in the asylum of psychologists try to improve them uh, instead of ridiculing them so this there is help uh, help you to understand this so finds peer approval is very important feels that intentions are as important as deeds and expects others to accept intentions or promises in place of deeds begins to put himself herself in another shoes and think from another perspective so conversion 10 to 14 days again other another stage also comes law and social order at this stage moral development people begin to consider society as a whole when making judgments the focus on maintaining law and order by following the rules done doing one's duty and respecting authority so here also the importance is that when there are good role models for best example i'll tell you why we are reluctant to be in the queue because we are not taught that's why pavlovian theory is very very important you see when in the non covid time if you go to metro cities you can see the westerners are also in the queue for railway tickets they are very obedient disciplined but we somehow we want to take even the black market tickets or we want to get it done by a person some friend a friend standing in front of uh, maybe standing at the first row itself so that you get it done you are not ready to uh, be in the queue all these are to be taught in this period it's very important so respects authority and obeys it without question but 
many students in the schools not ready to obey because what is is that this is the age is to be taught or good modeling must be there not around punishment supports the rights of the majority without concern for those in the minority supports the rights of the majority without concern for so that's what the more through moral development only you can understand why minority should also be protected is part of about 80% of the population does not progress past two. that's why this is the importance of this unless it is the stage of 10 to 15 is uh, brought well brought up well they won't pass the stage 4 that is stage 4 is legalistic social contract at this stage people begin to account for differing values opinions and beliefs of other people rules and law are important for maintaining a society but Members who say they should agree upon these standards. See, my dear students, my purpose is that uh, now actually, in fact, I've completed this theory because further you read it, purposely I'm asking to read it again and again. I'm sending the whole video, you watch again and again. The slides, I think, uh, Igno is recording and uh, sent to you. Uh, because uh, other faculties not, were not giving this uh, video uh, directly from faculty. So, you know, was giving, I don't know, Susan will arrange it or not. So, but you should understand that all these stages are very, very important. Unless otherwise good modeling is not taking place, our society will be, a, many members will be a curse. Why this theory is important? Have you studied the, the, the definition for health? Do you know this? Even that is ridiculed for marketing, some people say. But it is a WHO accepted health definition. Do you know what it is? Anybody knows? What is the WHO definition for health? Yeah, health, healthy mind. Healthy, what is the definition? Is the definition? Um, person with healthy mind. Healthy, is healthy. Is the, yeah. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Health is the complete physical, mental, social, and spiritual well being, not the absence of illness or infirmity or insanity. That means health means it's a complete state of physical mental and social will be that is what he's saying legalistic social contract see unless otherwise there is a very good social health for example physical relation you are maintaining your physical relation physical uh, health I mean, physical health i mean uh, good physical health you are maintaining good good mental health you are maintaining but the society is not uh, rising to the expectation somebody stabs you or kills you or bombs you terrorism what will happen whatever physical mental you gain this lost i hope you are clear about this particular theory it's very very important education good modeling good schools good teacher good society can do a lot in society that is the importance of this theory Koiberg's theory don't think that the other, unlike uh, the Erickson and Freudian theory, this is a moral development theory. It can contribute a lot to the society. Hope you are clear about this. And stage six, it says, final, because the, he himself said, beyond four, many people want that. Somebody please mute. mute. No, please mute. So at, at now stage six, called the spiral level of moral reasoning is based upon the universal ethical principles and abstract reasoning. That is stage people follow this internalized the principles of justice, even the conflict with laws and rules. There'll be a condition that superior level of thinking and beyond the religion, cause, creed, all this will be developed. There are, you can see some politicians are coming up to that level also, even in India. Uh, there are many philosophical schools uh, thinking about uh, the value of healthy relation in the society uh, as against 
the family driven relation alone why can't you be a universal lover contribute to society the real biblical communist principle that is also developing in india and uh, sweden norway and many nations people are not even willing to write a religion more peace uh, peaceful living you can see in this that is what this is, stage six so let's hope we can contribute something to society let me pause to the uh, the uh, case study you just uh, read this you would have read about this uh, the purpose of this is that you cannot say you are moral every time but the extent of moral is there in this story you just go through this in another 2 minutes at the back